Hey, John Fuller family. Welcome to day five of our Read Across America Read Aloud. Now you might think today is our last day on this journey together, but actually on Monday, we have some special guests from the community coming in to read our final book of the series. So we've gone from Rhode Island down to Georgia, over to Arkansas, up and over to Colorado. And today's author, A.E. Ali, lives in California. Her book is called Our Favorite Day of the Year, and it takes place in a kindergarten classroom, and all the students get to talk about what celebration is their favorite, how they celebrate it with their family, and why it's important to them. So, A.E. Ali says that her favorite celebration is Eid el Fritir. So, if you've never heard of that holiday, you'll learn more about it in this book, Our Favorite Day of the Year. Our Favorite Day of the Year, written by A.E. Ali, illustrated by Rahale Jampur Bell, published by Salam Reads. On Musa's very first day of kindergarten, his teacher, Miss Gupta, said, Look around the room. You don't know them now, but these faces will become your closest friends this year. Musa looked at the three boys at his table. They didn't look like his friends. They were total strangers. A great way to make new friends is by sharing things we like. For me, meeting new students is my favorite thing to do. That's why the first day of school is my favorite day of the year. Musa couldn't believe that was true, and he could tell Moises, Mo, and Kevin didn't believe it either. This year, for show and tell, you will take turns telling us all about your favorite day of the year. That way, throughout the year, the class will celebrate it with you. Musa perked up at this. The best day of the year was definitely Eid. Surely Eid was everyone's favorite day. Musa sat with Moises, Mo, and Kevin at lunch. I don't get it, said Mo. The first day of school, how can it be anyone's favorite? How can it be more fun than Christmas, said Moises. My family doesn't celebrate Christmas, said Musa. Me neither, said Mo and Kevin. My favorite holiday is coming up said Musa. Maybe we'll celebrate at school. A few weeks later, Musa and his mom brought in food and decorations for the class. Eid Mubarak said the sign. Musa taught the kids how to say it. On Eid El Fritr, my family goes to the mosque to pray early in the morning, and afterward we have a huge breakfast. Family and friends come to the house all day to eat food and bring presents. People eat all kinds of food, since Muslims come from around the world. Musa shared Malawa, Yozang, and Rose Lassie. Everyone could see why Eid was Musa's favorite. Soon it was Mo's turn. Shana Tova, said the sign. Mo stood at the front of the classroom and said, Happy New Year. My family is preparing for the Jewish New Year of Rosh Hashanah. Mo taught the kids how to say it. On Rosh Hashanah, we light candles at night and go to the synagogue during the day with our family and friends. We also eat lots of yummy food for a sweet new year and wish each other Shana Tova. Mo brought apples dipped in honey and challah bread to share with the class. Everyone could see why Rosh Hashanah was Mo's favorite. During winter, it was Moises' turn. Feliz Navidad, said Moises. I'm sure you guys have heard of Christmas, but not the way my family celebrates. On Christmas, we celebrate Las Posadas. Moises taught the kids how to say it. It lasts nine days, and we decorate the house with flowers, wreaths, and lanterns. We sing songs, drink Ponche Novideno, and hit a piñata. On the ninth day, Bueno Noche, we go to church at midnight and open presents when we get home. Moises brought Poncho Navideno and a piñata for the class. Everyone could see why Christmas was Moisey's favorite. That spring, it was Kevin's turn. Happy Pie Day, said the class. My family celebrates science, said Kevin. Pie Day is on March 14th because 3.14 is a very important number in math. On that day, my family makes different kinds of pies and we learn about scientists and their discoveries. This year, we learned about volcanoes. Kevin shared what he had learned. Kevin also shared about his favorite scientist, Isaac Newton. 
who discovered gravity when an apple fell on his head. Kevin brought freshly baked apple pie to share with the class. Everyone could see why pie day was his favorite. On the last day of school, their teacher sat the class down in a circle. I'm going to miss you all very much, she said. I want you to look around the classroom. Musa looked and saw his best friends, Moises, Mo, and Kevin, and the other kids he'd gotten to know this year. But what if Musa, Moises, Mo, and Kevin weren't in the same class next year? Their teacher handed out a calendar with many holidays on it. This way, you can always remember when we're not together to celebrate the days that brought us together. The whole year was full of days to celebrate with friends, new and old. Did you know about many of these holidays before hearing this story? How can you learn to appreciate a culture's traditions and holidays in a respectful way? Remember, holidays and traditions vary across cultures, religions, locations, and ethnicities. Today, your job is to share your favorite celebration. I can't wait to see what your favorite celebration is.